All right, I'm gonna show you something today using just six cards, these six cards in fact, and what I would like you to do is to just think of one of these cards right now where you're at at home through the camera. You got one in mind? Okay, look, here's what I'm gonna do. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm actually gonna take these six cards and I'm gonna mix them up as much as I would like. And the reason why is because I don't want you to know where your card is and I don't want me to know where your card is. So now that we've mixed these cards up, I will now remove one card. Mm, yeah, this one. I think this one. And I will eliminate this card, leaving us with just five cards. And if I've done this correctly, your card should no longer be in. All right, today I'm gonna to be doing the first in a little bit of a mini, I guess, series you would call it, that I'm gonna be doing of quick tutorials. That is, I'm gonna be, you know, doing extra little tutorials that, you know, for things that don't take a lot of time to do and, you know, it's not gonna be a full, you know, full on 10, 15, 20 minute tutorial like I've been doing lately. So, today we are going to be doing the first of which, which is called The Princess card trick. Now the princess card trick is basically what you just saw. You have six cards uh, or a small packet of cards and you have someone think of one and then you go through and you eliminate one or you make one vanish or you make one turn blank and in the end reveal when you reveal the packet it is revealed that the one card now missing is the card they thought of. This is a really great trick and it's a very popular trick as well which is why I don't perform it a whole lot but I wanted to teach it to you guys simply because I know some of you might enjoy it because it's super easy to do. So what's your preparation? All you're gonna need is you're gonna need six cards. No, just kidding. You actually need 12 cards or 11, depends. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna remove six cards um, and you want to remove. And these are the cards you want to remove. These cards work best. Some people use face cards, but I find these work best because they're less memorable, which you want for the trick. And I just dropped a card. So uh, let me pick that up real quick. So basically what you want to do is you want to remove these six cards and put them in a packet. You have the six... We have the six of diamonds, the five of clubs, the five of hearts, the seven of hearts, the six of spades, and the seven of clubs. They don't have to be in this order, but these cards I find work the best. You're also going to need a couple more cards, and those cards you're going to need is you're going to need five cards first off, and these are the mates to, the, to some of the cards you already have. So you need the five of diamonds, the seven of diamonds, the six of hearts, the five of spades, and the six of clubs. And you're also going to need a random and different card. In this case, I use the jack of diamonds. Doesn't matter. This can also be a blank card if you're going to perform a different variation of it. I'm just going to teach you the variation I did in the performance first, though, and I'll show you a couple other variations after that. All you have to do in the trick is switch the two packets. So what I did in the performance was I put this packet in my left pocket. With that packet in my left pocket, that leaves me with only our regular six cards, which I show to the camera, and you can do this in person as well. I think it works best as a social media trick, and you can show this and have someone think of a card. It does not matter what card they think of, obviously, because their card is always going to be gone in the end because none of the cards they have are there. So once they've thought of a card, you now take this, and what you need to do is switch it for the packet in your left pocket. So in the performance, what I did was I had, as I got this into my pocket, and what I did is I went out of frame for just a second. And what I did is out of frame, all I did was I just dropped this packet and grabbed the packet in my hand as this packet. Another variation you could do is if you get this packet into a gambler's cop, what you can actually do is you can do this little switch move, which I failed. 
As I was saying, you can do this little switch move. We have this in Gambler's Cop, and you do this little switch move here that looks like that. Now, that might have looked obvious on camera. I'm not sure if you saw that or not. But, all that happened was I have this packet here, and this packet's in Gambler's Cop. And from behind, what happened was I squared up this, and as I squared up, I just dropped it, and I picked this packet up and squared up, and it falls on the floor. Now, if you're doing that in social media, you might want to put instructions on the screen and, you know, have a sound listening with just music. But if you do have sound, that might make a sound as it hits the floor. So you want to make sure you edit that sound out at that point. Maybe just cut that portion of the sound out. Give a pause for that sound. Cut it out so you don't see that like I did in the performance. And that from here, it's all just acting because now their card is gone. You have a different card here. You shuffle all this up. It doesn't matter. And all you do is you remove the indifferent card, you toss it out, and then you show their card is gone. And I know it seems super obvious, like it won't work, but trust me, this totally works for people. People are totally fooled by this. All right, a couple more ideas you could I have about this. Uh, first off, you could just have the packet of five without an indifferent card in. You shuffle this up, and at the end, you snap your fingers, you say you made one card vanish, and it's your card. One more idea is that you could use something like a joker or a blank card, um, probably a blank card. You could have a blank card in there in replace of your indifferent card, and you could say, I'm going to make one card disappear, and then you take the blank card out, show it disappeared, and then show all these cards with their card no longer in it. And that's it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, like the video, subscribe to my channel, please. Comment down below. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed this, and if you'd like to see more quick tutorials, leave a comment down below. I definitely will. Uh, they won't be frequent, but they'll be. I'll, they'll come every net once in a while. And comment down below, and maybe post it as a reply to some of my discussions in the discussions tab. Um, put, you know, what do you think I should do next for my next quick tutorial? Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye.